Frankel is arguably the best racehorse of all time. Now he faces his next test as to how he performs as a sire. We're going to be taking a look at some of his yearlings. They're going to be passing through the ring here at Tattersall's Book One. One of the Frankel yearlings heading to Tassel's Book One is a colt out of High Cliff Stud's prolific mare, Model Queen. Well, as we all know, you know, Frankel is such a special, wonderful racehorse, and Model Queen would be our best mare here at High Clear of the proven mares. And to make such a, an investment, we wanted a proven mare and one of, of her kind of quality. And it, it seemed to work well on, on paper as well. She's a King Mambo mare, she's by King Mambo, and it's, it's one of the well-known Jobmont families. Um, and uh, so she, she, um, it's a lovely pedigree. Um, and she's been an outstanding broodmare on her own right. Uh, she's produced a Group 1, um, multiple Group 1 winner in Regal Parade. She's produced a top-class two-year-old in Entifada. Really, whatever stallion she's gone to, she's produced you know, pretty much 100% um, top-quality runners. He's very like his dad. He's got his, his father's head. Um, he's strong, compact colt, very strong, got great walk, um, wonderful elevated paces. Um, and he's got tremendous presence. Um, I think he, he thinks he's a bit special. And um, I think that's what Frankel had. And, and it's lovely to see that coming through in his progeny. I hope he, he'll be a two-year-old. Um, the mare's produced a top-class two-year-old and he's a very strong colt, um, well-formed, got good muscle definition. And he's found prep, yearling prep, very easy. He, you know, nothing's a bother to him. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident that he'll be a nice two-year-old. He's got a fantastic temperament. He's been a very cool customer. Nothing seems to rattle or phase him. Um, you've seen him here today. He's, um, he's quite amenable and he's had plenty of attention and so far he's handled it all very well. Have you ever known there to be so much interest around a first season sire? We obviously had to see the stars a few years ago. I think there's a tremendous interest in Frankel. He, it was such a wonderful story in itself, not only the fantastic racehorse that he was but coupled with the, um, Sir Henry Cecil. It, it was a, a magical and is a magical story and therefore there is the heightened interest. I, we've never seen in my lifetime a horse quite as good as that and I think it'll be very hard to see one again as good as that but um, it's very very exciting for us in a very small way to be part of that story and, and have something like this colt um, to look forward to see on the race course. I think there's always a sense of anticipation before book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sale. It's the number one yearling sale in Europe and uh, you know, obviously it's a, an outstanding catalogue but the Frankel factor adds a, a little extra spice. To me he was the most outstanding racehorse I think I've ever seen and I'm not sure there's a huge number of people that would disagree with that assessment. He was I mean, a, a horse that transcended just the sport of racing captured the imagination of the wider sporting public. Whether he can be as successful as a stallion, uh, we'll find out in, in the years to come. But on the basis that I, I rate him as the best racehorse I've ever seen, he's got a tough act to follow. But uh, there's absolutely no reason why he shouldn't be a very, very good stallion. He's got all the ingredients. He's a fantastic individual. He's by the best stallion in the world from a fantastic Judmont family. And he'll have received some of the best mares out there from the, from the very go. So it, it, it's all slotting into place. Lady Lloyd Webber's Wardship Down Stud, home to multiple Group 1 winning mare, The Fugue, have consigned two yearlings for Tattersall's Book 1. They're out of Dari Me and Dorcas Lane. Dorcas Lane was a very, very, very tough mare. Um, it's a great family. It goes back to Give Thanks, who was a champion, and Harry Year, who was a champion. Um, and he's a big, um, Frankel is a big, strong horse and I think um, he suited the mare very, very well. And Dari Me, again, um, we've had a lot of success through Dorara um, with the uh, Sadler's Wells line in um, as much as she had Darazari, um, who was a Group 1 winner by Sadler's Wells, 
and um, she had uh, Diagolev, who was also a Group 1 winner by Sad as well. She also had uh, Rewilding, who was a Group 1 winner by Tiger Hill. So the Dane Hill um, Saddle as well as line has obviously proved very, very good with the family. Um, Dari Me herself is by Singspiel, so we're obviously inbreeding to um, Saddle as well through in the wings. But um, Dari Me herself is a beautiful looking mare, and I think that what we've ended up with is exactly what we would have expected. They are actually a little, they're very different individuals, and um, I think maybe the Dare Me cult um, resembles um, Frankel in as much as he's a very, very strong horse, he's a big, well-grown horse. The Dorcas Lane cult, I think, um, is again very, very strong like um, Frankel and has got the depth that Frankel has. He's a much neater horse, um, but again, he's a, he's a very, very nice individual. What sort of horses do you see him getting? Do you think precocious two-year-olds, classic winners? I think he could get all sorts. I mean, he was a very good two-year-old himself, and he was an exceptional three-year-old, an exceptional four-year-old. Um, he had speed. He was obviously a miler who got a mile and a quarter well. Um, I think that they could really cover all bases. I see no reason why he won't get milers and he won't get um, derby-type horses over a mile and a half. How important is it the sales go well for him? I think like all first season sires, it's really, really important that they get off to the, to the right mark at the sales. That's their first test. But like everything, he's starting from scratch and um, time will tell whether they actually can perform on the track and whether he can live up to the ex high expectations that everybody's got for him. It's, it isn't just the Frankel show. This is Europe's premier yearling sale. It's, the, it's every owner's best chance of buying a classic winner, a European classic winner, or even a group one winning two-year-old. So it's, it's, as I say, it's not a one-dimensional sale, but it, it does create a huge amount of interest throughout the world. And have you got any other yearlings that you're really excited about? Yeah, we've got a really, really level bunch of horses uh, this year. We've got two very nice Galileo fillies um, with really good pedigrees. We've got a couple of Invincible Spirit Colts, which are very nice. And talking about first season SARS, I've got a very, very nice um, Nathaniel Colt and an extremely good looking Nathaniel filly. Um, and we've got two really good See the Stars Colts and a couple of Dan City. So, you know, we've got a really, really good spread and um, hopefully they'll go down well at the sales.